So in this video, we're going to explain how to put some holes in a block at an angle without falling foul of the topological naming issue. And a bunch of people have asked me how to do that. So I figured I would just do a quick video and show how we get that done. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a file. I'm going to quickly show you my FreeCAD version. I'm on version 0.20.2. I haven't downloaded a recent one uh, lately, but I think I'm still on the latest version. I will check that probably for next video. Okay, then we're going to create a part. Then we're going to create a body. We're going to create a sketch. And we'll put this on the XY plane. And then we're going to create a centered rectangle. So we'll click the center. And we'll grow that to a size that we like. And we'll give this a dimension. We're going to make that 30. And we can make the other side 25. There we go. We'll close that. And we'll pad it for 10. It's default to 10. We'll say OK. So there's our basic block. And now what we want to do is to put some holes through it at an angle. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the pad and create a datum plane. Now that datum plane is connected to the object's X, Y plane, but I want it on the Y, Z plane. So I want it to be this way. And then I'm going to rotate around the X axis and I'm going to rotate it so it reaches that corner over there. And I know from some math that that should be 56.32. So I'm just going to change that. That's just some simple trigonometry just to get there. So that takes my plane now. So it's actually cut in that area there. So now I can put a hole through here and it'll be at that angle right there. So. You can do whatever angle you want. I wanted to do it right where that edge is. So I'm coming from the center of the block out to that. So, okay. And then we'll turn it this way. We'll draw another sketch. We're gonna go on this plane. And then we're gonna go back to our model and just hit the space bar just to turn that back on. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit just so you can see how it's oriented. And then I'm going to include this line. So I'm going to just zoom in so you can see. I'll just include this line here. And it'll project it down to my plane because remember, I'm joining this plane. So I'm going to hit my sectional view so I can see it. I'm going to straighten everything back up with that key there. And I'm just going to put two holes in. Doesn't really matter what they are for the moment. I'm going to make them the same. And I'm going to make them symmetrical around the plane here. And then I'm going to give them a dimension just to lock them up. I'll call it 14.5. And we'll give them a diameter. Call it five millimeters. And now you can see that it's a fully constrained sketch. So I'm going to close that sketch. And then I'm going to, with this sketch selected, I'm going to cause some through holes. And I'm going to make those through holes um, through all. And I'm going to do it symmetrical to the plane. So it's going to go up and down. Say OK. I'm going to turn off my datum. And then you'll see that my holes go right through that edge perfectly. And then drop them right down here and going the whole way through. So that's how you can create angles to a block without having to use a face as the datum geometry. 
And as you know, if you use the face, the problem is topological naming. If you connect something to one face, then you modify the model. That face's reference can change, and then your plane ends up somewhere else. And so will your holes and so will everything else that comes off that plane. So hopefully that's helpful. A number of people had asked me about it. I just want to make a quick video for it. And uh, if you've liked what you see, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And leave comments below if there's anything you'd like to see or any uh, situation you'd like me to solve for you. If you uh, leave me a comment, I'll do my best. And I will see you in the next video.